we thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ, and I thank you for the redemption he has procured. We pray, Lord, your blessing that you have uh, allowed us, that you have invited us to come with singing and with joy into your presence. We pray your blessing now. And we do pray, Lord, for uh, many who are uh, uh, going through the great difficulties. We thank you that Dave and Laura are uh, much better and that Laura really is, is, great, is uh, really a big improvement. We pray, Lord, your blessing and your help and your total healing and, uh, uh, for her, Lord. We ask your blessing and help and we thank you for your goodness and your mercies to us. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. We do pray too for Cathy's friend Louise and her, his father Louise that's uh, um, having this uh, cancer problem. I pray, Lord, your hand and your help, Lord. And uh, we do pray, Lord, that you will just guide and direct. If in your will you could heal and restore, and we pray, Lord, your blessing. And so we pray for your peace and your presence for his son, Louise. We ask, O oh Lord, your hand upon them. We pray, Lord, your blessing. We do think of the family who lost part of their home with this terrible landslide over there, uh, south of um, Loka. And we pray, Lord, you will guide and help them. And uh, we pray, Lord, your blessing. And we ask, O oh Lord, you will guide for... Um, uh, Alison, as she prepares for Bible College and uh, the, need, the support she needs for that too. And we pray, Lord, you will guide for um, Sammy's uh, uh, getting his passport uh, renewed. We pray, O oh Lord, your blessing and help and that everything will go ahead then for their uh, uh, return to Northern Ireland. And we pray, Lord, you will guide for their uh, house there for their lockdown uh, instead of a hotel. We ask your blessing, we pray in Jesus' name, and for his sake and glory. So guide us now by your Holy Spirit as we come to worship and to uh, serve you and to, to worship you and to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice uh, here in worship and praise and adoration. We ask it in Jesus' name and for his sake and glory. Amen. All right. So, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I pass it on to them. And uh, we hope you have a, a wonderful day. Uh, we can't do it out the Mother's Day. And uh, that is great. And uh, we appreciate them so very much. And uh, now let's come to the reading. And uh, we have uh, two readings. And uh, we'll just wait, before we come to the readings, we'll do this uh, little introduction. And uh, the commendation is uh, the, the, the title for today. And I was noticing in the hymn, it had really been good for next week, uh, The Conqueror. And uh, so uh, this week is The Commendation. And next week is The Conqueror. So you have to wait till next week to hear think about the conqueror. Uh, but uh, do you do our experiences teach us much? They say these experiences in life, do they teach us anything? Life can be challenging. But you know, the great thing is that failure is not final. That's the wonderful thing with God. Uh, maybe with man it's different, you see, you know, and he just gives up on, on people, give up on one another or that sort of thing. Uh, but failure with God is not final. He still can work, uh, you know. And uh, we're uh, reading then is uh, 1 Peter. The first reading is 1 Peter 2, 18 to 25. So uh, shall we ask uh, uh, Dave to read that, please? And uh, then Cathy will read the psalm. And... Uh, we have, and then uh, Sam would uh, pray, please, after. That should keep everybody busy. And uh, right, thank you. So uh, we're ready then for the reading, are we, for uh, Dave? Reading 1 Peter 2, 18 to 25. Servants, be submissive to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh. 
for this is commendable if because of conscience toward God one endures grief suffering wrongfully or what credit is it if when you are beaten for your faults you take it patiently but when you do good and suffer if you take it patiently there is commendable before this is commendable commendable before God for to this you were called because Christ also suffered for us leaving us an example that you should follow his steps who committed no sin nor was deceit found in his mouth who when he was reviled did not revile in return when he suffered he did not threaten but committed himself to him who judges righteously who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree that we having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Amen. Thank you. And we'll ask uh, Senorita Catty, yeah. uh, Miss Catty, to read for the next reading. So, uh, second reading, Psalm 22, verses 1 through 31. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear. And in the night season, and I am not silent. But you are holy and throned in the praise of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you, they trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head saying, he trusted in the Lord, let him rescue him, let him deliver him since he delights in him. But you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breasts. I was cast upon you from birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my God. Be not far away, be not far from me, sorry, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They gape at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it has melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd and my tongue clings to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far from me. O oh, my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All you ask For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down shall bow before him, even he who cannot keep himself alive. 
a posterity shall serve him, it will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be born that he has done this. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Daddy. And we're waiting on Sam. Thank you, Lord, for your word. We pray uh, that you'll be with John uh, when he will, he will speak. And you'll be with the listeners as well, those who are going to follow now or later. You'll be with them. Make your word understood uh, for each of us. And we pray we leave this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.